I'm glad you're excited. <laughs> She's a little nervous. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm super. But it's okay. Super so, um, I really want to kind of dig in, and I want you guys to. I want to build a community. I want to know and build this uh, platform so that way it is something that we all can grow our businesses. I want it to be interactive. Hey. Um, <laughs> I want it to be interactive. I want it to be um, something that we can add value to you guys um, and something that we add value with us. And I want this to kind of be one of the things where we design this kind of platform ourselves. And what that means is, so, you know, we flip houses. I'm sure some of you know this. Some of you may not know this. And yeah. the one thing, what is the one thing that everybody loves when they flip houses? Everyone loves seeing... How gross it is when you go in there. Okay. Opening the fridge. Okay. Um, and then seeing like the after. And then like you... they they also love, um, I think, because I know that you do a lot of before and afters that we make, and they love help designing that process. So we want this marketing um, segment to be about designing your process as well. I want you guys to join us in um, helping us contribute to your businesses, my business. Um, I want this to be a platform to show us kind of how to grow and. One of the main things I know in real estate, you've got the Zillows, you've got the Amazons where they're disrupting. Yep. You know, they're coming in and they basically are trying to change the game. And I know that, you know, with voice, do you use Alexa? Do you use uh, Google Home or Alexa at all? I don't use anything that's not Apple. So, okay. oh, yeah, no, I oh. use the. Uh, okay, so we, we got use the, some Siri. Okay, so <laughs> we got the classic. Classic Apple versus Android battle. Yeah. That's good. Give me give me a couple likes or something in there. Or put in there an Apple if you're an Apple user. Or, or, or like a thumbs up if you're a no, uh, thumbs, up, <laughs> thumbs down. Or a thumbs down. If you're okay. an Android user. Alright, but basically, you know, Siri actually, it's a good point that you actually brought that up. I think Siri was one of the main voice um, hey, Tim. kind of people that started the whole voice movement. Yeah. And what I mean by voice is if you think about it. In five years, um, everybody is going to be, hey, Alexa, I want chocolate chip cookies. Send me chocolate chip cookies. Alexa, I want to buy a home in Lagomar. Um, you know, tell me what homes are out there. Alexa, I need a photographer on the beach um, to do, corp do photos at this particular date. Alexa, I want to do a video commercial. So if we don't have a brand, and this is kind of segueing into that, then we're at the mercy of asking those type of questions. And Alexa's gonna spit back anything from Amazon, anything from Google, all of your majors. So the whole, the whole point of this right now in this first couple episodes is to talk about building brand. And I think people take brand and they, they can kind of change that word to, to uh, reputation. Yeah. So in the photography business, um, I know that a lot of people push their name, or they may be under. Remember, was gla is glamour shot still a thing? I don't know. Uh, like picture people? <laughs> yeah, or picture people, right? I think pick people still around. So it's the same way that I think about if you are. If I was in News Channel Three, I'm going to go back to that for a second. Um, and I just was a salesperson on there. I want my reputation as that salesperson to be number one, where everybody wants to come to me for that. Because there's a lot of different people. There's a lot of different resources. Um, that you could go to, why should people come to us? And that basically is reputation, which basically equals brand. Um, jump in anytime too. Yep. I know I talk a lot. And guys, also, if you've got questions, I'm we've good. got Jesse. She, Jesse didn't Jessie's want to be over on there. the camera, but she is here with us. She's going to jump down questions, and we are going to answer them at the end of the segment um, as we kind of go through it, because I really want to dig deep, and I really want to get into very specific, narrow questions about your business, and maybe we can brainstorm ideas of how to build brand, challenges that you're facing. So I want this all to be a platform where you guys interact. I know I've said it once, but I really, really want to reiterate it because it's nothing to sit here and, and for me to sit here and talk. I mean, nobody really wants to hear that for 30 minutes. I mean, we're gonna get Bree to do the talk. I'll hear, I'll hear you talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. We'll get you to talk all the time. So, but realistically, Going back to the Alexa and voice thing, um, you guys give me a, uh, um, a like or give me an emoji of some sort if you have an Alexa or a uh, Google Home 
or a um, Siri or thing. Or a Siri that you use. and Apple. Does Apple have a voice thing besides in the phone? Do they have an yeah. independent? Yeah, there's like little home pod things, yeah. They do have they have yeah. pods. Okay. Yeah. So let me know if you guys have one. And what we're seeing with um, the voice movement is it's big. And one yeah. of the things I think that the younger generation, I know that my child um, goes up and asks Google Home everything. Um, they will ask any questions. There's no more 26 volume encyclopedia where you've got to flip through it, which I saw on Ellen. Go Google the Ellen challenge with the encyclopedias. It's actually hilarious. Oh, where they had to dial on the old phone and everything. Yeah, yeah, too. it's, yeah, it's very funny. funny. Um, check that out, by the way. You gotta scoot over because these people are wanting to see you. I mean, we got Lori. Right, we got Lori. I see what you're doing. She's I don't know where to look. I don't know where to look. Okay, uh, but back to <laughs> I see what back, you're doing. Back, yeah, she's trying to slide out of the of the actual. Hey guys. Footage. All right, so and we'll I see <laughs> I see a question from from well, Yanni, Yanni. Um, and we'll get hey, Yanni. we'll get to that. Jesse Yanni's asking about branding um, about for companies being success um, and also pushing it and as it's so up. undervalued and organic growth. And actually, make a side note about organic growth. That's another thing that I want to talk about. Thanks, Johnny. Guys, chime in anytime too. So, back to the voice segment. The voice segment is we're talking about with Alexa or Google Home. You've got to be able to have brand because what's going to happen is you're going to have these disruptors in the industry. Do you know what a, a disruptor is? I know it's kind of a silly one. Some, some someone people might not know. Yeah, like someone that's taking Taking over. Okay. Yeah. So give me a disruptor. You know, can you think of a brand that's disrupted in an industry that recently that people would know? Amazon. Okay. Amazon is definitely doing it. They're real estate based, then it's um, well, like Zillow. Okay. Zillow. Zillow is taking over that's for real estate. One. What's one that the uh, cab industry that has completely Uber, dismantled? Uber. Uber. Lyft. Okay. So Uber, if you yeah. think about it, completely dismantled the cab industry. Um, simply by um, allowing people, because really the customer wanted more, they didn't want to wait. Uber said, you know what, we're going to solve a problem, we're going to allow you to get a transportation on the phone, and we're going to come right to you and you can pay for it that same way. Yeah. So it'll happen with real estate transactions. It's happening with mortgages. You can go to Rocket or Zebra or whatever the ones are where you can Quicken go on quick and yeah, all that type of stuff. And so the people that are underneath those big brands, so in real estate, and I know I keep talking about it, but the Keller Williams of the world, the, uh, um, I don't even know if I should be saying these yeah. names. Oh, well, we're only on episode one. Oh, Thank well. God not that many people are watching. Um, but the big brands, you know, your Keller Williams, your Howard Hannas, of that sort, they push brand. They push Howard Hanna, they push um, Keller Williams, and it's, that's all the marketing you see. Well, what we're trying to do is we are uh, building a team where we brand the agent. That's one of the main things kind of coming up that I did, you know, and when I was with Exit, is I always built my brand. So that way when I transitioned to another company, mm -hmm. nobody really ever knew. And that was the point that brand really, and what I want you guys to get out of this is brand equals reputation. Um, you know, how is your reputation being pushed right now? How is your brand being pushed? You don't have to be an entrepreneur um, to talk about brand or to have a brand. Um, you know, if you think about it, you and I could go to China and build Nikes, but without that little swoosh, yeah. our shoe means nothing compared to all of the other companies out there. So really, when somebody goes to that Alexa or somebody goes to that Google, I want them to say, hey, uh, Alexa, you know, what houses are for sale in Lagomar um, or can get Ryan Boyce to find me houses in Lagomar. Get the Boyce Real Estate to find me houses in Lagomar. Book Bree Creative for photos on Saturday. Book so-and-so for this. Um, so you want those words to come out of their mouth and it's it's super crucial when it comes to pushing brands. So you just actually um, rebranded. Mm -hmm. um, the old uh, photography was called what? The old photography. As Brianna Bloom. Okay. And so you decided to. That, that had to go. It had to go. <laughs> it had okay. to go. What's that? Why? It had to go. Um, it just. What? It's not. It wasn't fitting for my life anymore. Okay. So you wanted a makeover in it. So when you, when you rebranded, what is the first thing you thought of to do when it came to rebranding? Re the first thing that I did was um, change my business name. Guys, Cold Brew. 
I know this is like hip, this might be hipster, but it's you know it's cool. Anyways, all right. So what did you say? What was the first thing you thought? First thing I had to do, I wanted to change my business name. That's where I needed to start. Okay. So I can know where I wanted to uh, to kind of go with everything. So when thinking about a, a new business name, what are, I know I'm really putting you on the spot here. I'm good. Okay. What are some things that if people out there wanted to be able to brand themselves, um, what is the first thing they should think of? Should they go with their name? Should they go with, I know this is kind of a really broad question, but if you, in the photography business, it seems like it's very name driven. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So with it in the in the real estate, it's very dangerous. What do you think we could do for people that are um, I don't know, I'm really freestyling right now, that are in the corporate world that, that it's not their business and they just want to make a name for themselves, like they're selling insurance. Yeah. Or they I can relate to this because I was in the corporate world okay. for like five years. Okay. So what would you do? Would you go name related? Would you go um, you can't, you can't, in corporate world though, you can't really go like name related. Okay. Um, hold on, guys, sorry. It's probably still. Um, you can't go name, name related because you, you're not building, I mean, you're employed by another company, but you just want to make sure yourself known in the okay. company. So it's really just about your attitude and your work ethic, and that in itself builds your brain when you're at a, I'm gonna take this. a company. So I came from. Um, I agree with you 100%. And I think that maybe we can do a hybrid version of those two. So if you think about it with ECSE, the East Coast Surfing Championships um, that happen every year, or any major uh, contest, if you ever look, it's the ECSE powered by yeah. Monster Energy, yeah, right? Or sponsored, sponsored by Vans. So, you know, and I'm really just freestyling, kind of really off the top of the head right now, but what if somebody basically said, you know, uh, insurance, Ryan Boyce's insurance powered by State Farm mm -hmm. or powered by um, Keller Williams or powered by WTKR or, you know, because that way they can take their name, give them some brand recognition, but still put out there the company that's driving the forces behind them on a legal perspective. You can do that. And I know there's some people in the mortgage industry that's doing that. So that's I think that's one way that somebody could change it and give themselves some brand recognition while still giving credit to what they do in that company. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the next thing you did? So we thought about name. What is the next thing that... Um, that I did when I was rebranding? Yeah. Um, I also, well, at the same time while thinking of a name, I thought about how I wanted it to look. Okay. Now um, when you say look, yeah. tell me, describe look. Um, I wanted it to fit me. Okay. Um, so are we talking uh, colors? Are we talking yeah. logo? Are we Co talking... I mean, everything. Colors. Um, like even something, even down to like the font choice. Okay, so you bring up some really, really good points. The, and I love what you just said that you, when you were rebranding, you wanted something that fit you. Mm -hmm. So I think that's another key thing. I think one of the main things to really take out of what Bree just said was she wanted to make this personal to her. She wanted it to fit and mean something that means to her. Because listen, we can all do this nine to five, whatever your hours want to be. Yeah. Um, we can all do that stuff, but if you, if you don't get something out of it and make it meaningful to your life, then it gets kind of stagnant and gets kind of stale. So I think when you're rebranding, I think one of the main things is make your fonts, make your colors, make your um, logo, something that means something to you. Um, and it doesn't even have to work the first time. I know that in the real estate side of things, I went from um, the double, key. well first it started with the double R's backwards. It was real estate by Ryan. Real estate by Ryan. With like the double R's, like I thought it was like Rolls Royce or something, <laughs> something cool like that. But it really, it really wasn't. I mean, it was cool and it worked and it was the first thing and then kind of grew out of it. Yeah. I grew out of it in, in about two years. Mm -hmm. Just in the way that I knew that it grew out of it, I just wasn't feeling it anymore. It didn't mean anything to me. Real estate kind of, by Ryan. Yeah, There's kind of, so many Ryans. 
Yeah, I'm, well, I mean, you're right. That's so exactly right. then we went to like the Retro B, yeah, like I remember black and white B, which I still use. Yeah. I, still like I like it. that one. It was clean, um, simple. It was. Yeah. And it was just a logo that was on there. It was the black and white that fit my persona. Yeah. And now we're just to the script, just mm -hmm. something classy that has voice. But the point is, is that it changed. It's changed over the course of six years, and that's completely okay. Um, you can change it as much as you want. It doesn't. It's got to mean something to you because if it doesn't mean something to you, then there's there's honestly no point in doing it. Right. How do you feel about logos? How do, so you need a logo. Okay, you need a logo. Yeah. So, does the logo have to be some crazy design to picture? No. No. I mean, if, unless unless you want it to be. If that's you, and you're you want to have it be. Some kind of crazy picture or whatever. If it fits you, then yeah, okay. that's what you got to do. Again, I love it. What she's saying is, is it's got to fit you. So if you want a logo, I recommend having a logo. Something simple it could be your initials, mm -hmm. could be um, you know a shape, it could be um, some type of symbol. That's up to you guys. And we'll dig in in later episodes on where to find and where to get the resources. We got some really cheap uh, places where we find logos that we don't own it. We just found it in these cool places and we'll give them to you guys so that way you can check them out yeah. as well. Um, and then the colors. Everybody's filter, Instagram, yeah. Facebook colors. Like, what do you do about your coloring on your logo? Because you said what it looks like. So mm -hmm. did that play into it? Oh yeah. Okay. I Tell wanted it, I wanted my logo to be simple and like some and classic. So I wanted something that wasn't so my my last logo, my last business name. It was what it was for a reason at that time in my life, and okay. then, but it was a playoff word. So it was right. Brianna Bloom Photography, right? So Bloom being in there, I played off of like floral. Love it. Like, and I had flowers around my logo, um, and then so that was kind of like a playoff words for me. Okay, I love it. Um, so, but when I transitioned from Brianna Bloom to Brie Creative, I wanted it to just reflect me as a person. Okay. Um, and I'm just, I don't know what are, there's five things I don't know where to look. Just pick so. one, just pick one and, um, and move around to them. So, yeah, I wanted to reflect me. So what I went with for my logo was just simple black and white. Okay. Uh, but then I also incorporate like, like pale, like blush colors. Okay. And, so like let's recap. We are kind of going on talking about brand today in this kind of first episode. Yeah. Um, one, we're doing this because we are building a brand um, in real estate. And when we were sitting here talking about it, we were like, you know, we know what we're doing a little bit and we know our industry, but we don't know a lot of the industries. And we want to build this with you guys. And we want to watch your brand build as well. So why not make this a topic of conversation every Monday at noon? And we, let's talk about it. Let's figure out and brainstorm and we'll get creative on ideas. We'll bring some other people on camera. We'll talk about Instagram. We'll talk about Facebook. We'll talk about TikTok and LinkedIn and really, really where to dig in and find value um, in these different places and how to use them. And, but first, to me, the most important, which we're talking about today, is brand. Um, I think you need, I think brand is basically identifying you and making you stand out in a place in, in some industries that are so watered down. Uh, there you go, Christina, we're all, hey, if y'all hear that noise, it's because my wife is calling, we're online, babe.